the microphone setup here. And what we've got here is the Fillmore 50. Usually when I'm recording in this room, I put it on 25. So the neighbors don't call the police. And um, what we've got there, that is the Royer 121 flagship microphone. Oddly enough, made by Royer. Interestingly enough, that is the best mic for micing cabs. It's just fantastic. This might be a little bit close. Actually, I might pull that back a little bit. I know some people, you know, like to really get in there, but I kind of like a little bit of room on there. And you can see it's off. It's not on the cone. It's on the kind of the paper. <clears throat> Next to that is the dynamic mic that sounds really cool. And that is the Sennheiser 906. And that's on the other side of the cone. And uh, usually I won't put that flat, but it's, it's turned it a little bit and I'll fix that later. Coming over here, um, we have the 212 Lone Star Cab. And I uh, switch out heads for this part of it. And over the top, you can see, well, this is the Mark V. And uh, right now it's on the clean channel, but usually when I'm recording with this, I'm using the 2C plus mode and I do it in hard bypass. Um, and over the top there, you can see a basement head and underneath that is my Lone Star head. And I swap those around depending on the guitar I'm using to match the guitar and the tone. And, uh, but usually I'm, I'm, the Fillmore stays there and, and, uh, this guy gets swapped around with different, different heads. And of course on this one as well, I've got another Royer 121. This sounds so great. And right here, that of course is the U87. That's the one mic that's, uh, borrowed. That's from my buddy, John. Modley, let me borrow that, and that sounds amazing on the cab as well. Who knew? U87 sounds amazing. What a surprise. Um, really great on highs and lows, and really transparent, but at the same time, it's super warm. And uh, these are, I mean, you can see it's not, I don't have them right up on the, on the, uh, on the grill. I keep them back a little bit. Um, sort of like that tone where it's it seems to smooth out a little bit more having it back a little bit but, but still close enough to have to, to push uh, about uh, what is that like five feet away and about five feet high is the uh, AKG 414 uh, another really standard you know great mic for for cabinets and that kind of gets more of the sound. I like putting that mic about where I would stand and, and I would hear the, the cabinet from, from where I'm standing, a little bit lower. And then in the back there in the room, picking up the room sound, getting a little bit of distance on the, on the sound, is a MXL 990 and that mic, uh, uh, you know, for the money, that's an amazing mic. I think it's like paid 50 bucks for that mic and, uh, and it's good to uh, toss it in the room. I like to blend all of these mics um, so that I'm not having to, uh, you know, raise and lower the, the faders. Um, I really want to kind of get them so they're set and then I can put the faders flat and just bring them all up and, and uh, create the sound. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.